Hello everybody, my name is Shretex and welcome back to Star Sector. So we're going to be heading off towards another Ludic Path settlement I have discovered well, between episodes everybody. Right here, wait not right here, <laughs> right here is Goldtear, which is a nice little barren world because apparently the Ludic Path love living in desolate horrible places. I don't know why, maybe it's a personality thing, but who really knows. We're going to go over there right away and we're going to take it down. Now we have also got ourselves some new ships in our navy now from last episode and I'm now using... Where is it? Show me game. The Hail Class Destroyer. Now, it's pretty cool. I have tried it in a few simulations as well, and I gave it gave it a wrap to defense system, so it actually has point defense it can use to kill enemies. It's pretty cool. Um, so we'll see that in combat very shortly. Now, this base I think is pretty easy to take over. Is it here? Wait, where is it? It's right there. Okay. So I have noticed that every time I take over a bit of territory, I just get loads of money for it. I get loads of resources and stuff, which is pretty awesome. What is this? Gust wants to get rid of Rugged to get overload duration. I do not agree, sir. Please keep your opinions to yourself. So, we go over to here. Oh, there's also a gate here as well, so we can just teleport back if we need to. That's really handy. That's a really tiny fleet. I'm not going to bother with that. Um, oh, there's a bigger fleet, though. Smugglers. Yes. I will kill them. So, let's give our little combat testing to our new ship. So, if I just go and deploy all my frigates and my destroyers, we have two groups here. So, we have, like, these guys for, like, easy battles, and we have these guys for the big battles. Done. Okay. So, this ship is literally a glass cannon. I mean, it has pretty much no way of defending itself, but it can kill a lot of people. So, <laughs> we'll see in a second. Uh oh Uh-oh. Oh, no. I... I, I... Help me, point defense. This is why I had to give it some kind of point defense, because if I face towards the enemy missiles and fighters, I can kill them. If they're behind me, I die, um, but it's fine. Did all my missiles just turn off up there? <laughs> I think they did. Also, you can't tell as well, I actually installed a mod, which, uh, sorry, when I say mod, I mean in-game, <laughs> that increases my missiles' movement speed and maneuverability as well, so they're a bit more effective than they would be otherwise. Oh, is that double? Oh, imagine if they both flew up at the same time. Perfect. Thank you so much, game. I appreciate it. <laughs> double kill. So, you can see already, though, this ship is a lot more deadly than my previous ship. Um, I just got to be a bit more careful playing it. I actually don't think I would be happy leaving this ship to an AI to fly, because I thought it would just die in a few seconds. Um, but at least if I'm playing it, I can only blame myself if I die. Oh. No, 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 no. Stay back. I like it as well how these Gatling guns also double as a nice little point defense as well with fighters and stuff. Oh, I don't want to take too much damage here. Let's be a bit careful. The flux is not great. We will work on getting a bigger flux um, drain. Oh no, 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 no. Ow. <laughs> to be fair, that wasn't that bad. This ship is strong enough to handle apparently a few harpoons, but not probably much more than that. All I do know now is that I'm going to have to spend a lot of money on repairing my ship's armor because somebody did not defend it properly. Very nice. Yeah, so I also want to... Because I got loads of missiles at the front, but these ones right here actually. But the problem is, I think there's only like... Six shots per launcher. Maybe not even that. So I want to try and find a missile launcher that's a bit more... What the... That guy, he was like, I'm out of it. He left the toaster on. He had, he had better things to do with his life. That guy left so quickly. That was insane. Yeah, so these missiles here are pretty powerful, but I'd rather have one that's more... It, it hasn't got ammo, so I can continually fire it. Because as soon as I go through my initial shots, I've got nothing, I, I've got nothing else to do, really. I've lost a lot of my DPS. Okay, so we're going to invade this place. Uh, it has 192 militia. Now, if you do remember from a few episodes ago, we invaded the world and I found out my Marines leveled up to become even more powerful than before. So you see here, 34% increased uh, damage from experienced Marines. That's pretty cool. And for some reason, they got high morale, but I don't know why. But at least they're happy, right? So let's just deploy the, let's deploy the armies. Deploy the armies. Kill them all. Leave no man behind. Wait. Well, yes, but also that's not really what I was meant to be saying there. Okay, they have been deployed. I'm going to just leave this area. 
Let's go and activate the gate while we're waiting for them to win. This is where that random fleet has like a thousand reinforcements. <laughs> it just sends in millions of people. Uh, scan gate, done. We have a new transport point. Awesome. So by the time we get back, I would imagine we've probably won this invasion. There you go. Beautiful. Oh. Storm is now known for having fighter speed and less maneuverability. Cool. Storm, by the way, we actually bought two new ships last episode. I bought my new destroyer and also we bought a proper battle carrier with some commando mechs, which sounded pretty fun. So, Okay, so this is now mine. If we go into storage, we have our surviving marines, which have, I think, 47% increased effectiveness. They're getting better and better. Wow, that's really cool. I love this. Okay. And loads of random goods. Which is why I was saying it's good to take over territories, because it means we can just sell all this in a second. I know I can probably transport it somewhere else to get more money, but I have not got the car capacity for that. How much money am I going to make from this? Ooh. Ooh. I like it. I like the extra money, everybody. What can I say? Um... Let's get rid of that. Is there more Marines we can get here? There's no more Marines. We've run out of them. <laughs> we have to make sure we top this up. I reckon 600 Marines is probably a good one to go for. Because um, right now we don't really need 1,382 uh, crew, to be honest. It's a bit too much. But it's okay. Anyway, so is there any interesting things to sell here? There is an ECM. I want to try one of these, but maybe not right now. I, I, it's something I want to probably look into at some point. We'll try all the ships anyway. So, uh, let's have a quick look. Missiles. Ah, they haven't got what I was hoping for. I wanted to try and fight. There's one our race, our faction has, micro missile pods. These. They actually don't have ammo. They just continually fire. So you have like a continual stream of just random missiles being shot at people, which is pretty cool. And this is what I was on about earlier, by the way. We have the ECM package. Uh, where is it? Uh... Electronic countermeasures are 50% less effective. Uh, we had 25% more top speed and 50% movability. All round, a pretty good thing to have if you've got a lot of missiles. So, moving on with our lives. We have that sorted out now. We've got loads of money. We can teleport back whenever we want. And I feel like... Oh, what's going on here? That's a big battle. Or is it? Oh no, they're attacking with heavy components. Oh, you get weapons and they count as like mechs or something? That's pretty interesting. <gasps> we can afford this. Should we? Because uh, I haven't got any territory. I kind of want to do it. I, I want I want some kind of land. Just so I, I can say that I'm doing it. Um, what, what's the space like? Unrest. Rebellion. <laughs> Or, or, no atmosphere, extreme heat. It's not great, but we could use it to... It's got refining as well. Does it even make a profit? Growth, neg it's, it's awful. <laughs> this place is terrible. It's having an awful time. Is it even making any money? I don't know how... I, I, should we do it? it we'll, we'll leave it. It's a barren planet. If I'm going to take over a place, it's going to be beautiful, everybody. It's going to have amazing stuff on it. Okay, so... Do you know what? I just realized as well. If I keep getting all this loot from these invasions, I looted that random planet in our home base, and I never actually looked at the storage. So we're going to go back there anyway. And uh, I'm just going to grab the money from there as well. That's the place. The place that's rebelling right now. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't fall apart. I wonder if the... I don't think the AI could use gates. If it could, it would probably change the entire game on how it works. So it's probably for a good thing. Survey Arid World. Oh, that's a bit far away, though. It's a bit far away for me. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Storage. Yes! Yes! There's a bunch of random stuff I can sell here. There you go. More money for the money gods. And also there's some replacement marines. Which dilutes the uh, experience of the ones we have, which is what I was expecting to happen. Okay. Let's leave this place. Can I get those missiles I wanted? What is this? Oh, it's a single torpedo. No, they're not here. Damn it. 
Very interesting. Uh, what? Ooh. I got. I can't really use any of these weapons, but I just like looking at different things. What kind of things you have? Because I want to try out that other destroyer. There was another one. Some this one, the calm destroyer, which I think might be better than the one I'm using, at least for AI. I think AI would do a better job using it. I also want to try out. It's going to cost too much money though right now. Let's just get one of these calm destroyers and we'll equip this as well. So what is this guy like then? So he's got two big frontal hard points. I think we're going to give him the same anti-hold twin cannons. These guys seem pretty generally, generally just good at stuff. I mean, they're not very good at shields, but they're good at armor. And they're good against hull. So it's just a pretty interesting thing to have really. Uh, loads of micro-missile launchers. It has spots for point defense, which is very good for us. So oh, there's only one available. No. Ooh, there's the energy version of point defense. Let's try these. I haven't seen these before. And more missiles. I want to put on. Um, if we let's just put on point defense missile. <laughs> they seem pretty handy. They they have really high range, and they were just shooting random missiles that weren't even. They were blowing up stuff that wasn't even destined for the ship, which I thought was pretty handy. Uh, clearly, I feel like it needs the same built-in ECM package. Cause that does seem pretty handy. Uh, build in. I'm being very liberal with my um, things here, but it's fine. Should we just test this in a combat situation quickly? I just want to see how it kind of acts a little bit. If we just go against like a mule and like, I don't know, two hounds. Ooh. Oh yeah, what's this flux good tuning? Oh, it's those drones, isn't it? So what is it doing? Four deployed in holding pattern. Shield damage taking negative 20%. Oh, I think you... Oh, free roam. Max speed. So it can do flux generated by weapons. Max speed. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Sorry, I get distracted by myself here. I think it's going to have trouble against... Um, being flanked because it hasn't its main weapons are just on the front but the missiles would be pretty good at least distracting and pushing off the enemy I think this will work pretty well it just needs to be def kind of protected against certain situations I even need the um, point defense because I've got so much random stuff here now, I think long term, if we get two more of these, these are the micro missiles, by the way, ones that continually fire. They're pretty handy. Maybe we don't want this. I oh, know it's pretty good, though. I'm liking this ship. I feel like it can it can do its thing. Let's do it. But not very... Oh, it's got issues against other ships. This is more of a support ship, really, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think this is like a big old... We will leave it in the fleet, and we'll see how it handles itself. It takes you long to kill that. <laughs> we need some kind of anti-shield as well, I think. Um... Let's just give it one of it. We'll give one of each, and it can have a bit of a different situation there. Done. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. I am going to quickly check this. No. Okay, fair enough. Cool, we'll take that. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Where do we want to go next? Bunch of issues around and about. Uh, bounties. I think the bounties are a bit too big for us on our current fleet. This one looks like we could probably kill that, to be fair. Let's try and kill that bounty over there. Let's grab ourselves some goods and whatnot. And we'll fly over. There'll be pretty low on supplies right now. Let's get a few hundred, 200. We'll head off. 
At least we are slowly getting stronger though. And as we keep testing out these different uh, fleet ships, we can hopefully get a good like um, basis for a good navy. Uh, let's go over there. Oh, these gates are so handy. Okay, where are you, Jolly? Jolly is by a yellow primary star and by a barren world. So I'm going to say it's over here. Let's head off. Yeah, because what? Because the thing about how I normally play, I know. What's this? Ah, oh, it'll be fine. I've got to be very careful what's nearby here. There, is that? Oh, that's an. End what is this? That's way too many ships for us to handle. Mostly because they got all the phase ships there. Hmm. Interesting. Let's not go by that. That's <laughs> that looks terrifying. We haven't got enough um, solid ship design to start at the moment. It's two big highways into this location, which is interesting. At least when we go back, it'll be a lot quicker. Okay, so we head over here. Ooh. That's a fleet, isn't it? Oh, it's another one, but it's smaller. I reckon we can take that one. Oh no, it's the Ludic Path Righteous Flotilla. <laughs> they are so holy, everybody. Um, oh, did you see the damage there? It had a 172% difficulty rating. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, let's see how it goes, everybody. What can possibly go wrong? We need to focus down the phase ships because phase ships are amazing at killing pretty much every ship. Because <laughs> either it distracts it enough that it gets flanked and killed or it just kills it by itself as it's just annoying. Um, but luckily we have a carrier now, or a proper carrier. So we tell the carriers to do a strike mission on those phase ships and the, hopefully the bombers and stuff can just, well, the fighters can just sit on it until it dies. Now, as we are, if you're not aware, as we're doing larger battles now, because we've got a lot of ships involved, we get these uh, special control points, which give us various buffs. Like, this is like speed, that's jamming, that's jamming as well. It's pretty handy to try and control it, and it also acts as a way of the game breaking up larger battles as well. So it's not just one big blob warfare. You can still do a big blob warfare if you want to. You just have everybody go to one point, like I have, and then it's a big blob. Okay, so hopefully we can get by just killing people rapidly. Come on, come on. I need to back up after this. Nice. Oh, they got some Sunderers. That's a little bit different there. Um, but it has split up the battle, though. We need this guy. We need a hail to get into these enemies here, but there's a lot of enemies still with here. Um, we need to, I think we need to push up. If we push on this Sunderer and we get behind it, it's dead. Oh, nice, we've got the uh, Gus. As big as these ships look, I don't think they're very strong. No, look, oh, wow. <laughs> well, there you go, everybody. It's definitely not very strong. Yes. Excellent news. Excellent news. Uh, oh, no, we got the really bad. You shouldn't be there. He's dead. We want to get rid of the ship, though. So if it dies, it dies. I'm not a big fan of it. Let's actually get rid of the control point on that anyway. Everyone can try and pull back. Uh, oh, actually, as you're there, grab the nav boy, my friend. Oh, oh no. I think he crashed into the back of that ship. <laughs> that could have been very bad. It could have broken all my stuff. I'm trying to see where the phase ships are, but none of my ships are actually being targeted by the phase ship. Uh, that ship is going to die, though. Unless I can get over there quickly. Believe! Do you know what? It's okay. It didn't die. You can please pull back though if you can. Because you've lost your armor now. So if you get hit a few more times you're dead. That's not great. That needs to go. Come on. I damaged it enough that it might pull back. So I'm going to take that as a win for us. This I'm not happy about them pushing on this. I can push them back. I can hold this location by myself. It's fine. This is why I wanted those different missiles, so we can have a continual stream of um, damage on the enemy. Do you know what? I feel like this might be okay at this point. We'll bring it back again again. 
We've got the nav, boys. So we get a plus 5% speed? Yes. I've got to be very careful because my flux is not brilliant. Oh, we've got a backup. Those are backup. Oh, no, that's... Oh, no, it's... Oh, no! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Help me, somebody. Somebody help me. Keep it away from me! Oh, no, it's fine. If I get... I can keep distance. And I got fighters coming to help me. Brothers! Brothers! This is our new commando wings, by the way. We've got our new battle carrier. It's pretty cool, as you can see. They're pretty effective. I mean, they're not killing the thing, but they are distracting it so that I can get in, go and kill it. This is why we need some bombers, though. Oh, we're taking some good hits here. We're getting some good licks in. It's trying to get away, but I'm just too fast. <laughs> Ha ha! Excellent! Okay, this has gone very well. No one's died. We got some big contenders up there. It's looking a lot better for us. We need, I think some of these ship designs are doing pretty well. We need to get more of them. Um, not this one, though. <laughs> Pocket Gus, not my favourite, everybody. Not my favourite. I mean, like this guy, though, the other Gus, it's got a big gun. It's doing some big damage. It's a pretty good ship. Um, Pocket Gus, are you going to engage that enforcer by yourself? That's not a good idea. What's happened over here? Are they deployed ships without any CR? Yes, they have. Well, that explains why the face ships weren't attacking anybody because they are pretty much dead. Uh, I'm gonna re I'm gonna organize the haze to go and engage that enforcer. Let's just finish these guys off. This has gone very well for us. Especially because the battle was so large as well, we get an XP modifier. Um, though I am very concerned about that gust. Can you not do that? <laughs> I don't trust you to not die in a few seconds, sir. You need to back up. Okay, this should be easy. Hi. Well, I wish I had missiles though. We're doing literally the only damage we have are these two twin Gatling guns. It is working though. Oh, we got backup. Kill him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that big gun. Very nice. This is a victory, everybody. This is a victory for the ages. Um, disregard that control order. My troop, my troops start spreading out. So when you actually use this, you have two options, by the way. You can do control or defend. Defend just sends a big group of people over there, regardless of the situation. Where control is dynamic. It assigns... Well, actually, it says right here. Enough ships will be assigned to match enemy forces in the vicinity, but no ships will be assigned if there's no enemy presence. So this is, like, the one you want to pick, like, if it's this. Because it will send a guy over there, it will capture it, then it will go back to the main battle. Otherwise, you can have like a big, like, this is my fleet center point, and they're sending out ships from here. Uh, it's pretty cool. I, li I like it. It's a cool system. It is a cool system. It's a cool system for a cool game, everybody. Is this my one, or is it. No, that's the, that's the other one. There's still one big ship left over there. It is kind of fighting a lot of. Oh, no, they got it. That went so well. We've got to bear in mind, we want to battle against a bunch of broken ships, though. <laughs> We're not fighting a group of actual military vets. We're fighting a bunch of crazy zealots that don't even know how to fly a ship. So it's not like we uh, pulled off like an amazing victory there. Uh, let's grab some destroyers. And, oh, one guy has... I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Done. I leveled up. That's my favorite thing about doing those big battles. You get some experience. So, I said next I was going to go for this, right? So, we grab the increased repair rate. 
and also we repair just some damage at no cost, which is super awesome as well. Now, done. Next up, I think we're going to go for ECM, which was somewhere. I don't know where, though. Oh, no! I didn't want this. This is not what I, I, I wanted this. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah, damn it. It's fine. And what did I even do anyway? 10% damage to ships larger than frigates, a frigate. Ah, uh, no, that's really not what I wanted. I... <laughs> oh, damn it. We could have been moving faster the entire time, and we weren't. We weren't doing it. It's just sadness. Well, I had to use a story point for that. It's fine, though. We have done it. Is there any more elite skills I could have grabbed, by the way? No, we got all the elite skills. Well, now we should be faster in combat, which should make us better in general. Uh, oh, this wasn't even the main mission, was it? This is just a random fleet I came across. Let's keep going this way. I should do some little, like, drive-by exploring as well while we're out in the middle of nowhere. If we find, like, a cool terror world or something, I, I will definitely colonize it. Is there a ludic path base here? Look at this. There's, this place is occupied by a ludic path. I'm taking this. They can't stop me. Even if you're, there must be a part, there must be a base somewhere. But where? Not here, okay. I'm gonna take control of all these. Ooh, what's this do? Oh. That's really cool. But no. <laughs> Take draw that. So I don't care if the part hates me. I hate them. <laughs> it's a mutually hating relationship. Oh, what? What's that behind you? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no there's two bounties in one place. That's not fair. We need to grab. What is this? Maybe we can win that. There seems to be a lot of issues in this system, everybody. There seems to be just pain. There seems to be pain everywhere. I need to find a way of fighting one bounty by itself. If I can, like, find the sweet point when it starts aggroing me, but it's not... The other one's not aggroing. It's keep moving away. They're connected. They're of one mind. <clears throat> oh, no. <laughs> that, that, is, that was not what I wanted to happen. Well, I'm going dis to disengage with my story point here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're going to kill this. And we're going to run away. It's got more... Okay. This is fine. This is totally fine. I don't know why the enemy has been blessed with so many units in this one system. But they have been. Let's go, everybody. So what's my max speed now? Plus 4% top speed. I will take it. I will take it. The speed is key, everybody. Speed is key. So enemy has been spotted. That ship looks... Oh, it's got very low... It's got a lot of point defense. Uh, let's just try and gank it now before it can do anything, though. We apply a lot of firepower. This is their flagship, after all. So even if we retreat after we kill this, we still won the bounty. It's fine. Dead. Very nice. Okay, they normally put the biggest ship with the officer, though. So if there's, a, if there's like a battle carrier, they're here be using the battle carrier. Bersant, you realize you're in combat, right? Okay, he's, he's figured it out. Ooh, ooh. 
This is what I was on about earlier. If you saw there, my point defense missiles fire and just helped my uh, just frigate there. It's very handy. That's a good, it's a good target. It's a good target. Hi. Nice. So we're having. Okay, that was not as decisive as I thought it was going to be, but at least we got some damage there. Yes. I should be careful. I should be careful. I should be careful. I'm trying to back out, but I've got no... Oh, I, I can't use my F while I've got no flux. I think I remember that actually from yesterday. <laughs> I was like, F, stop working. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this ship is pretty tanky, but we got a gust over here. If it gets in range anyway. Go in a second, and we've at least killed one bounty. Very nice. Okay, cool. That went really well. Ah, oh, the shore is doing a good job as well. It's definitely yes. Even the little drones are good though. That's so. Oh, we lost the Versan. They are pretty stupid, to be fair. Uh, they're not. I don't think they're a good AI ship at all. So if it dies, it dies. We replace it with something better. Um. It is a bit sad it has died, but that's fine. Ooh. This guy has not got a lot of shield capacity, so a few good hits it. You can't get through every battle winning every uh, without any losses, everybody. Losses will occur. I like its little shield it's got. This is a cool looking ship. I'm, I'm, I'm digging that ship. Okay, so we're done here, right? Seeing that the verse aren't cost like 20 grand, it's, it's, we made money off this. It's like a 100k bounty, I think. Oh, I bet it was this. I can't fault the verse aren't then because these kill ships all the time. There's a strike. Yeah, I, it must have killed it because they 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 have like a phase skip, so they they confuse the AI. It's like, it's like oh, I'm I'm too close now. I'd just die. Uh, this class is difficult recovery. It is dead, everybody. It's it. The ship is gone. Look, don't worry about it, game. The ship's gone. It wasn't good enough to be part of my fleet. It's gone now. Ooh. Ooh. Stay back, sir. Stay back. What was in this fleet again? I, I'm, not, I'm not happy about that. We're not taking that on. Okay, I just want to do some scouting, though, while we're here, because... I presume there might be a looted path base in this area because there's clearly something going on here. There's this is not a regular location. Uh, also, have we leveled up at all? No, we can't because they're, they're at max level. I forgot. She's at maximum level now. Damn it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Oh no. Ow. Why would you do that to me? Do we have enough time to get out of this? Yes. Ow. Ow. Ah! Oh, that's a, that's, that's a big station. That's, that's a battle station. That's not a, uh, we've just put this here. No, that's a, it will murder everybody station. Well, at least we know now. Uh, let's just, there's a lot of debris fields as well. I think there's one above us as well. But I think the debris field above us is a bit different because I'm pretty sure it has, uh, the ships there. So I saw a lot of pings. There you go. Let's see what's over here. We will feast. Super freighter strike. So I did say we can use ships that I find, right? So I think we should. There's no real harm in grabbing some strikes and stuff. Uh, let's grab this. 
Oh, it needs a... Okay, never mind. I don't want to use story points on it, though. Unless it's a really good ship. That was not the right button. Ooh. I got the same thing twice. <laughs> Lobster! You're wondering why I'm so excited about lobster. I don't know. Sorry. Sorry, random thing. Ultra rich rare deposit. These things will come in handy one day if we decide to go and get ourselves some more territory. We just know where there's good locations. Well, I think I would like to get another freighter at some point. Oh, do I not even pick anything up? See. Like how the massive super freight had like nothing on it. <laughs> Done. Okay, cool. I'll take all that. Uh, let's get out of here, I think. I mean, we got we got money off that. We can get another big ship again. Let's head back to our place with the Do you reckon that's actually a fleet over there? Because there we have seen I don't know what that is. It's probably just one of those sensor blips. We got a lot of damaged ships, so some of them probably have some. Uh, is is that a mod waiting at the exit? It might be. Let's just go north in case. Okay, that's fine. There was something there. Smugglers. You can't actually kill the smugglers. Uh, I think there's a moon that you can do it if they're about to like go into a trade port you can attack them sometimes but most time no okay let's have a look here we got loads of stuff to sell have some lobsters friend do you know what no this these feasts should be sold on our home world everybody our home world deserves luxury and we will set it over there so let's go over to the active gate and screw you guys i'm leaving Allies! My friends have arrived. Oh, what's this? So, apparently I can change my thing. So we can get rid of negative hull integrity per last and damage and get sensor profile plus. Yes, I accept, sir. Wait. Oh. 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 We replaced a bad trait with another bad trait. Well, that wasn't really great, was it? But it's fine. In fact, I made it worse. Uh, <laughs> damn it. I thought it meant I had more. Well, I should have read it. I thought it was like, oh, you get more sensor range. Like, yay. But it was not the case, everybody. Where do we... What do you reckon our capital is? Is it this place? Can I find... Do we actually have a capital system? I need to know. It's very important. Um, I'm going to presume this is the most amazing place. It's a size 7. It's class 4. It's a pretty beautiful location. Uh, if I don't say so myself. And I think it costs 600k to actually govern it as well. Which was quite expensive. Wait, should we try and save up and take over this jungle world? Wait, how much, wait let me just double check that. Let me double check my presumption there. Oh, larger markets may not be purchased. Ah, I see. I see, I see. By the way, I tried this out between episodes. You can create custom fleets with your own ships. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so when we get too many ships that I don't really want anymore, I can put them into our own fleet and they just fly around doing their own thing. It's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, I'm, let's sell our goods first. Hello, friend. I am here to sell you lobsters. What are these? A mix of several old earth species and a little imagination produce this creature which grows wild in the crushing depths of Voltrum sea floor. The flavor is said to be exceptional. Ah! Beautiful! We'll take it. We'll take it all. Why do I have this? I don't know. Money, everybody. We are the money men. Uh, I really want this. <laughs> it, we're so close, everybody. We're so, so close. 
This still, I still feel like this feels like a combat ship though to me. But it doesn't go very fast. It looks like a combat ship, but it, its top speed is 40 and it, it's, it's not that great. Um, let's go for nothing, I think. Let's leave it for now. Let's literally do nothing. Unless I can finally switch out some of these missiles. No, I cannot, everybody. We still have not got what I wanted, which is a bit sad. Let's try the other place. Someone must sell these stupid micro launcher systems because <laughs> they must be somewhere. Please, game. Please. No. There's none here either. All I want to do, everybody, is just have some micro missile launchers. So half my ship design actually works after the first 10 seconds of a battle. That's all I want in my life. It's simple as that. Ooh. Why are you scanning me? I'm I'm one of you. We're brothers. I forgot about that guy. Uh okay, so do you have what I'm looking for, sir? Good sir. No. <laughs> Uh, let's see then. Oh, they cost 50k, those uh, things. Maybe it wasn't guessing it died then. <laughs> but it is what it is. There's a lot of destroyers here, but I don't think it's worth be buying that many. Um, this cruiser is interesting though. But it just feels like it's too big to be a useful combat ship. Look at it. It's ridiculous. I'm really not so. If I look, it's too slow and it's just going to die. I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. I really don't want it. Anyway, uh, so now we're back here. Let's just get rid of this fella. I've been given £8,500. I'll take that. Excellent. Is this a, what world is this? Is this a four size world? What is this world? <gasps> oh. I'm kind of tempted though. Is this... What's this? What's this world got going for it? Oh, I've already checked this other night. It had loads of negatives. It's not great. It has a military base though, and a VIC revitalizations. What? Why is that there? I don't even know. Anyway, moving on. I thought we should go and. I think at this point of the game, I really want to get my own colony, everybody. Um, and I just can't find a good one uh, to buy. So we're going to go and actually look for a colony. I'm going to. Give myself some fuel. Give myself some supplies. And we're going to go and explore the universe. At least for a little bit. While I try and find some cool stuff here. So um, let's just do this for now. We're going to head off. Do we have any useful intel for good locations already? Before we run off. I forgot you can get contacts and they give you missions. I forgot about this. <laughs> Damn it. Um, where is he? Kelly Blake. Because he also sells you stuff as well, doesn't he? Oh, everybody, I, I suck. I'm sorry. I So I played this game a lot, but every time there's a new feature, because I spent way more time playing the game before this came out, I just forget it's a part of the game. <laughs> the same thing for... Um, what else is the other thing I forgot about? Oh, no, whatever. But it's just, I just completely forgot about it. So, Kelly, 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 Kelly? Where is Kelly? Is he in... Oh, he's in the other system. There's one system next to this one, and he's in that one. Let's go and pay him a quick visit. Yeah, anyway, so we're going to go off and try and find ourselves... Um, a colony because we actually have enough oh actually do we have enough we may need to grab ourselves a little bit more heavy um what's it called mechanical parts or whatever it's called because it i think it requires maybe 50 or 100 Ooh. interesting very interesting if i am i gonna get in trouble if i do this mining destroyer Ooh. Ooh. These, oh, we've already got 100. We're fine then. We've got enough of that already. 
So let's go and talk to this contact. Let's see if he's got any cool missions. And then we'll head off and try and find ourselves a planet. Because if I could find myself a nice Terra world or like a, even like a, just a decent class 4 or class 5 world, we will be on long term success. Because then we get build our own nation and whatnot. Not nation, sorry. We're definitely playing with this nation. <laughs> but I can then help uh, get my own weapons and whatnot. Also, won't be rebelling all the time because it didn't used to be a pirate colony. Which is also very helpful. Okay. I should also keep an eye out for officers as well because we need more officers. We just haven't got en enough. Bounty docket, extraction mission. And... Hmm. Bounty. Oh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, 7,000, 1,400. See, that's easy. Oh, wait. No, that is... We could take that. We could take that. I'm going to set this mission. Oh, no, we won't. We won't. We won't. Wait, sorry. We'll keep this guy in mind for future endeavors. Let's put it that way. So I want to go off and try and find your stuff, right? So I found loads of random stuff while we've been running around. Oh, the church is going to colonize the system. Pretty cool. Do you know what? <laughs> that means the AI has found a colonizable world in the Gamma Hassa system, everybody. And do you know what that means? We can get go there now, and then we can colonize that good world and take it for ourselves. I'm going there right away. I'm actually Aquarius, so I like anything to do with water. I spent most of my childhood in some kind of water. I'm going to go and take over water world. It's going to be beautiful, and they're going to call it Wave, and everyone's going to live there and have a great time. So that's the plan, everybody. We're going to go ninja the Ludic Church's pla uh, planet. <laughs> They may be very upset with me afterwards, but I don't care. I want my planet. They're not, they're not going to keep it from me. So it said 14 days to assemble. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's this? Um, it wants the ship to be reliable instead of having strong armor. I do not agree with that sentiment, sir. No, thank you. Super Ninja Force. I never thought about this. We could use the AI's expansion to our benefit. It's flawless. Nothing can possibly go wrong here. Uh oh. Oh, I thought I got through that somehow. I was like, oh, we must be just missing. Oh, no. Let's not be too crazy here. Wow, everybody. <laughs> Fate has determined another course for us. Apparently, we just got absolutely... <laughs> the game is like, you're going to die, sir. To be fair, this fleet is not that scary. Um, it's a carrier focused fleet and it's got what well, is this loser? Look at all these fighters. We are gonna survive and we're gonna fry everybody. Let's go in. I have to be careful what I do here because if I go too far ahead and I haven't got let's let's stick with this haze for now because I haven't got myself a uh, good point defense really if there's too many fighters. Calm before the storm. All these men know they're about to go into a battle for their lives. And we've also captured a comrade today. Perfect. I'm just going to sign orders for all of these, just because I can. <laughs> the game can take care of the uh, technicalities for me, it's fine. Enemy spotted. There's only a single hound. Um, we've got to identify where their main fleet is at the moment. That's probably going to be the initial issue. Where is their fleet? Oh, that's looking good. Let's go for this. Hi. If I can get past these frigates and I can get into those shepherds, it's an easy dub for us. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Oh, I thought I killed it. I need... <sighs> a lot of enemies, everybody. There's a lot of enemies. Let's just help kill all these fighters for now. Don't you dare, Gus. Stay back. I don't trust you, Gus. You go and sit. You guard that carrier. <laughs> I do not trust you to not die. You are like the weak. You're the weakest link, sir. 
And I can't even vote him off without him dying, so that's a big problem for us. Okay, so the enemy is kind of being funneled towards this location here. We, we're about to actually capture pretty much all of the um, surrounding areas, which is pretty awesome. But it's kind of a shame that we sent off the, sh the, the main combat vehicle in our navy to go and capture a home relay, but that's okay, don't worry about it. Oh, that's not good, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. We have got a lot of fighters ourselves though, so they are helping blunt the enemy uh, fighter attack there. In fact, we kind of did pretty well. Okay, I'm going to go and be a bit aggressive, I think. So I'm going to... Are you losing that battle against that hound? Oh, he is losing the battle against the hound. Can somebody send a fighter wing to help out over there? Because he's going to die otherwise. Uh, I am going to go... I'm going to go and join up with the hail. And we're going to just smash our way down. Because these are not combat carriers. These are freighters. But i got to be careful the amount of fighters they have. Brother! Help me. Oh. Oh, wh why is my... I hope my shield's not up, everybody. It's a bit awkward. Has he died yet? No, the fighters have actually saved... No, they haven't. He just went by himself. Oh, cool. I'll take it. Okay, I'm going to actually go past. I'm going to go up this way because this is just left by itself at this point. Uh, I don't... Oh. I don't like that. You... I don't know. We just need to keep killing these or start killing these carriers. That's the way forward here. I'm not going to lie, I don't think it shields to be that good. <laughs> I need an adult, everybody. Where is the... Where's the big ship? Where's it actually gone? Oh, no! I've been flamed out. Oh, shit, and it sacked somebody else. Oh, you've gone off that way. I need you to engage that main enemy. That should be the main target here. Uh, actually, let's just do an engage order on this instead. We're going to engage this force as a, a force of our own. Oop, that wasn't good. Get that. I feel like I'm going to get sandwiched in between these two carriers. Get, let's get out of the way, just in case that happens. I need, I need you. To engage this target, okay? That's what we need. I would like to micromanage more when it comes to fleet commands, but until I get a more reliable command point uh, generation, it's you only have like two or three commands, but like it's not really viable. You can give multiple commands, I think, in one order though, which is pretty handy. Um, I probably should think about that more. At least we have kind of like herded together the entire enemy navy somehow though. They are aware that even though they got more ships and a lot of fighters, they are a bit vulnerable to our bigger ships moving in. Because really even this kind of battle we're going to win eventually because when we actually wear down their uh, fighter force, they wouldn't have any defenses anymore. Oh, we're in, we're in. We're in. The first of many has been destroyed. Let's back up though. There's too many fighters to make. That's a nice target. Oh, what a jump! <laughs> I just pass past everything. Next one. I keep forgetting these won't just disappear when I kill their master, but that is out of the way. Okay, so we actually have every point. It looks like my um, sleet, though, lost, unfortunately, to that um, Lasher, which is understandable because Lashers are pretty decent ships, in my opinion, at least like for the cost. They've got a lot of guns, a lot of movability. They're pretty handy. Uh, I'm not actually going to tell anybody to attack that. We'll leave that be.
Oh, look how cool these battles are with all these mechs and fighters attacking each other and whatnot. Uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, we need to break in again. Oh, it looks like we're actually... Somehow, the enemy's splitting up. They're, they're going south to take over that point. And we're going to go and take care of this fast carrier, which is probably the linchpin of their defense. Oh, no, they're trying to reinforce that mule there. Let's get out of the way of the hill. Nice. Big in range there. Very nice. Not close enough to actually do a death, deathly blow though, unfortunately. Sorry, 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 sorry. Haphazard driving there. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. Oh, it's so close. Yes, we got it, we got it, we got it. And this um, Heron is on the way out. Keep applying pressure. Oh, that's not good. It's been a while since we had that noise. Very nice. We're keeping the battle, though. We're going to keep with it. The enemy is pretty much done at this point. So we just apply another engage. And we make sure we apply those guys to it. That is a weak ship at the moment. Let's go for that. If I keep going up, the hail should hopefully attack in a second. Or haze. Oh, there might I got it myself. Nice. I like how like the battle kind of like spreads out and it's just like the survivors and stuff. <laughs> People are trying to survive in this harsh world. There's a lot of armor on this, but we both have anti-armor weapons, so we should get through it quite quickly, hopefully. Little clip there. Two damage! <laughs> oh no, what will we do? Yes! I nearly died there. There was two missiles up my ass. <laughs> there must be someone behind me. Oh, there is. There's a... Whatever that is. What is that? Oh, it's the Drover and the... Uh, what is this guy called? Gemini. I'm going to leave... He can take care of that. He's got that in the bag. These are very weak ships by themselves. We can finish this off quickly. It's a bit dodgy. And we're done here. Perfect. I, he hasn't won against that um, venture, but he's about to. Come on, man. Nice. Enemy down. Such a random fleet to run into the middle of nowhere, though. <laughs> if they're scavengers, though, I wonder if they've come back and they might have, like, a um, AI core or That'd be pretty cool. Apart from that, though, we have got this in the bag. There's a shepherd over there. It's about to die. Apart from that, I think we're done here. I'll make the carrier assign its uh, commandos to take those guys down. Where are the commandos? Oh, they are. But I don't think he's in range, unfortunately. I think he's too far away. It's gone. It's gone. Let's, let's claim victory.
No one died on my team. Pursue. We're automating the, uh, the chase. Ah, oh, some of them got away, but we got rid of most of it. Nice. Okay. We haven't forgot about our main journey, everybody. We must steal the ocean planet. Water world will be mine. Is it here? It's here, isn't it? Our new homeland. Ooh. I can't get to it. We'll get we'll do that later. Uh Water World. Why hello there. My new beautiful spinny world of water. Oh, it's a bit it's a bit potato. Do you know what? I'm gonna take it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> because I can. Screw you, church. This is my world now. And it will be called Wave. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's not plan. It's not plan. No. What's happening now then? Am I in my own faction? I, that was not what I... No. Wait, am I? What have I done? I'm so confused. I don't know. I don't think I'm a part of that faction anymore. I think I made my own faction by mistake. Uh, special functions. Oh, yeah, I messed this up. This is a mistake of the maker, everybody. Well, that didn't work out very well. We will deal with this between... <laughs> We will deal with this between episodes. I will fix it. It's fine. I will undo what I've done here. This wasn't a great world anyway. And we just have to go and purchase governorship over something else. That's going to be the way forward, I think. Uh, apart from that, everybody, hope that you have enjoyed today's episode. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.